Hello and welcome to another Nicomedia tutorial. So uh, yesterday I got a question from a patron and uh, she sent me over this picture here and asked me if I can show how to make a picture like this. But this isn't on, only a picture, she just sent me a picture. Here uh, she told me that these light streaks, they are moving and changing color. So from the front to the sides, they move, you know, they, they Pulse, uh, you know what I think you know what I mean, and yeah. So we will try to recreate something like this today, and I will do this with Octane because I know she renders with Octane, and uh, yeah, and we will make this 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 nice pattern here. Of course, you can uh, achieve a uh, pattern like this with uh, displacement or normal map or something else. But I want to try some things, maybe playing a little bit with notes and, and, and everything, because we have R25, why shouldn't we uh, use it? And yeah, maybe with in the, uh, the new Insidium views we have the subdivider uh, generator, so we can do something with this. So I would say let's try something and we will try to recreate this. The first question is uh, for sure, for the most people, how to make this pulsing uh, uh, color streaks here. So let's start with this, so I could away with this. Good. So for this, is, uh, I do this with a normal material, with a uh, physical render, a standard material, and uh, then we can later on just convert it to an octane material. But we see it better in the viewport in this case then. So. I make a tube just for instance now. Well, now that's normally I, I don't want to start with a cube. I, was, I prefer the platonic here, and you see the platonic is set for me to X in my defaults, and this is a cube. But here it's simpler to make the, the segments. You see, I can simpler and don't have to make the segments in X, Y, and Z. So this is for me the better way. Make it something like that, maybe. Uh, I'll make just the one this, and I make a copy of this and hide this one. So maybe we can use this later. Good, so let's start. The first thing we can do here to make this. Uh, yeah, at first, I want to show you how to make this uh, uh, streaks. Imagine that we just uh, see the sides here. So I make this on the whole cube now, but uh, we will at the end we will only see uh, the, the, the streaks. So, but the technique is the same. So I simply make a new material here. So go in the luminance channel and make here a simple gradient. So let's make some fancy gradient here. Load the preset. Ah, this loading it needs time, of course. Forgot it to preload it. I still don't know why it needs. Why it does not just simply download it and. Uh, I have no idea what what the Max and guys do. Uh, yeah, let's wait. I have a gigabit uh, internet. I have a, all uh, just SSDs and, and, and Vs. So, so it's a very very fast uh, machine. But you see, it takes its time. Yeah, wow. The same maybe we here. I think. Yeah, now here I, I preloaded it. I just forgot to. Preload the presets here. So let's make some fancy things here. Let's see, maybe this one or the heat here. Uh, it doesn't really matter, we can change this to whenever we want. So I take this heat, maybe not the white one here. So now I 
make here distribute and select all of them. Oopy. Make them smaller here. Then I hold my Alt key and drag this whole thing here. Uh, my, my Control key and drag this whole thing to the side. It should give us a copy of this. Hmm. Let's see why not. It should give us a copy. Control key and hold it now. Maybe I have to go on a node here. Yeah, click on a node, then a control key and hold it. So now I select only these ones here and right click in and word selected nodes. So we have this here and distribute the nodes. So now we have the start and the end the same. So we let's this distribute. So this should be a nice thing. Okay. Uh, the next step is we need we put this on our platonic here. See, this is by far not what we want. We want that it starts here and goes through uh, this cube. So to do this, let's go to the material and the projection we set to flat. And now I go to the texture mode here so I can see my texture here and I rotate this texture here 90 degrees or well, 45 degrees should be enough yeah. and here in this direction 45 degrees that's it you see what we get we have now this Thing here and when we now offset here the U we get this pulse effect here and this is simply what we need so if you just look for this effect you see okay so we can do this effect but we will we will uh, tinker around a little bit, why not? I have a little time, so let's go to here. Don't want these blacks are that black, so let's go to the black here. Reddish, so maybe let's go to 20 here. Same here. Go to 20 here, okay, let's think that's nice, so, so we don't have a black one. And I uh, oh, can use the smooth or maybe linear. But this we can change later on, so this isn't. Let's go back here in the model mode. And again try it, and yeah, we have this nice flashing thing here. Good. And maybe make it more colorful. So let's go back, make a new material, a new preset. So let's take this rainbow. Uh, I'm going to make my Rastafari here. Okay. So bring this to here. Control drag the yellow to here, control drag the red to here, distribute the nodes, and then we should be fine. Maybe bring the reds a little more in. And let's see, wow, 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 yeah, this, this seems to be nice. Maybe the green a little. Darker, yeah. So no contrast here. Okay. Mm. Yep. Okay, but we can play with this later. So okay. Now, let's. This is uh, the first thing we need. 
I make another platonic copy here. Hide this for the moment. Let's save this and uh, poof. I had to name it light streaks or something else. Streaks. Yeah, something else. Okay. So now we make this one. And this, now we might make this this uh, pattern here on this one. So we can try different things. We can use, if you have the Insidium fuse here, there is in the mesh tools a subdivider. I, hold, I selected my platonic, hold my Alt key, click on the subdivider. And here you see we have already one subdivision. So we have the subdivisions. But I want to do this with a shader so that we get a nice randomly things here. So we're using noise here. Make the noise a little smaller. 25 should be fine. And give it here to, let's say, 6. And you see we have nicely randomly uh, things here so, so pattern it's like like we have it here you see we have very small ones bigger ones bigger ones but they are very small here I don't want them so small but we can do it with just go to here so we can go to the one more so we have but I want some bigger ones as well maybe yeah, that looks not bad at all. Here we can change this later if we want an, another distribution here. So uh, we go to the noise and set and play with the noise seat here. So we get every time a different thing here. This is the first way we could do it. Second way is we could do this with nodes. So let's bring this platonic out. And yeah, let's do this. Now we go to the nodes. And what we need here is an SN construction node, this geometry modifier group, and bring it under the platonic. So at the moment we don't see a lot. But it doesn't matter. So uh, now I want to go inside this node, so in the node editor, and just double click on it. But don't double click on the name of the modifier. It's just, here you just uh, change the name. You have to click on the uh, icon itself. If you double click on the icon, you see the node editor opens. So, and now we can say we want. Uh, a random uh, subdivision here. So for a random subdivision we need a selection. I don't want a noise selection. So if you are in here you can go to this plus sign and find your thing you need. In this case it would be under the uh, selections and noise selection. You see here. But the easier way is if you know what you're searching for, you go inside here and just hit C on the keyboard and now you get this and, and search it. So I search for the noise and here I have the noise selection and double click it. So bring this in. And now I need a subdivide. So C, subdivide. And go to the geometry and bring this out here. Now we see we have here some subdivisions. Let's go here in the subdivide and make this a little smaller, maybe. This is our subdivide node here. So, and if we go to here, you see we have this. But yeah, maybe we make this platonic five. So. This subdivide is okay for me. I'd want it just once subdivided. And uh, 
the noise I can play here as well. So I can go to the noise and set it down here so I get more or less in the trash. There's a scale, we can go down to 50 here, so or 25 again. So. Okay, so we have our first subdivisions, let's say, so we can change the seat here. Yeah, I want something on the front here. And unfortunately, we cannot make now another noise subdivision and subdivide it. I'll show you, show you why. This is not possible, unfortunately. So when I'm, I just copy this noise selection, control, drag it down. Go to, oopsie. Go to here. Same the subdivide, I control, control and drag it away. So go to here, bring it down. What I get then is, in this case, uh, I want, in this case it works because I have the same noise, but I want it not on the same uh, polygons. So when I hit the noise here, we can a different seed. I get something like this, you see, because we have here some edge points later on that uh, they uh, make everything. Here we have a point that shouldn't work normally, so it should uh, subdivide here. But we can do this more times, so this is, uh, let's say, uh, I go here, so, whoops, delete this, so. Now I can simply say uh, current state to object here. Hide this one. And in this one now, I select all my edges. So I go to the edge mode. Control A, select all, right click, and then I say disconnect. So now when I go here in the mesh checker, you will see the problem. The mesh checker is here, the mesh checking tool, and uh, you see we have these blue points, they are the, our problem for making this uh, thing. So I select all the edge points and hit delete. So I delete them. Now I can disable this can go back to my no normal mode here but, and I simply take this one and drag it down to this to here and now I can make a different seat here you see now it we can make a different seat here maybe make a subdivision of two so that looks nice Maybe another seed. I want to try yeah, to have something on the front here. Okay, nice. And you can do this more and as again if you want and then subdivide it again. This is how we can do this with notes. Well, we can, we could use this, I think. Yeah, I like this. It does not look bad at all. So what we do now is, I want to uh, extrude all the polygons, but first, before I extrude it, I want to inset, so make an inner extrusion of each polygon. We can make this directly here in the nodes. So let's go to the subdivide, and now I want to select everything. Because when I say here, simply, let's say I make here an inset, so C, Inset, drag it here in between. You see, it works kind of, but not on these ones. You see, it's just on the last selection. What I have to do first is before I make the insert, I bring in between a selection. So, see again, select. Oops, this is here, okay, select, in between. Now, you see, we have selected 
everything now and this is exactly what I want. So I want to have everywhere inset, but I don't want an inset that much. So you can choose here between uh, proportional or in a centimeter, millimeter or whatever. But yeah, let's see, I want to see if I can make, to make it 0.1. So you have everywhere a very small inset, you see. But if you want more variety in this whole thing, I would go with proportional, let's say 1% or something, or 5%. So on the smaller ones you have smaller gaps, on the bigger ones you have bigger gaps. This is totally on you how you want it. But maybe I stay here first with this one. And maybe a little... Well, we can change this later, so it's no problem. Point 0.2, that looks nice. Okay, and now I want to extrude the inset polygons. So I go to here, go to go in and see for extrude, search for extrude, bring it in here. So now let's see what we have here. So, so that the extrude is very very high, so point two. And you see it extrudes but not the insetted polygons, it, the whole polygons. I want the insetted polygons. So what we have to do here is now first make select here again so because it so now it selects everything but I want only the uh, inserted points so, so select whoops and here okay, it should be the default let's see if this changes anything no. This selection is okay, then an inset is okay, another selection is okay. No, it should be default. Maybe I wrote it wrong, no. Uh, let me think a little bit. We are polygons, that's okay. So we have here the selection. Ah, let's go here to the selection to all. Yeah, now I have it. Because before it did not know what to select again, so it selects everything, but uh, if we see here to default, let's see if this works. Yeah, it has to know what to uh, select, so all is okay here in this case. And now I should need here, let's see if it does this, nothing. No, now I need this here, you see? Default. And now that works. It's exactly what I want. So, now I have everywhere my extrusion. And I see, okay, the inset is a little too much here. So, let's go to the inset. And let's go to point one here. Or even smaller, 0.05. Okay, this could be nice. So now we can make it very easy. We can say, of, let's bring our uh, platonic back with the with the material in it, and make it. You see, we see it, but it's 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 over it's overlapping. So just make it. A, a tiny little bit bigger, so here uh, 100.1 should be fine, or 101 should be fine. Now we have this, and now we will still see our changing here. And the thing is. We see it everywhere. I, I want it like this. I want to see it, the, the lights in every gap. But maybe you don't want it and we make it not just on the edges. So you can do it here. 
without a second platonic as well, we could do it with an uh, with a se with a selection. So let's try this. So I go to a height this platonic here and go back to this one here. And I make just now a, a simple material, a red material, just to show what is selected. So let's go to red. And now let's go back to our note detail. So, and here select extrude. And now I want here a store selection. So because now this top polygon should be selected. So go to here, C, and store selection. That means I can now give this selection a name. I name it simply one. And you see, I get a selection tag here. Drag it under my platonic and drag the selection tag into the material. You see, now we have selected only the top polygons here. Yeah, I, somehow I really like these notes, but uh, sometimes this is so, so hate and love. <laughs> It's, but it's more love than hate. So the, and but now I want, of course, I want only these edges here selected. So let's go to here. Store selection now. Before the store selection, I make an invert selection. So C again. Invert. Selection. You see, we get this, and after the invert selection, I want a shrink selection so that we go down. So, see, shrink selection. Uh, why is this? Okay, if this does not work, it shouldn't be a problem at all. I disconnect this for the moment. The invert selection, maybe I need it, but I don't think. Yeah, maybe I make a grow selection now. Why not? So, C and the row selection. Okay, now I have everything selected but the edges I want to illuminate. And now I can put in between invert selection. This is the other way we can do it. You see? And now, of course, we can take this away, we can make a copy of this, drag it down to here, and just use it on my selection here. And this should give us exactly the same like before. You see? And so we don't need a second platonic. But I want the second platonic because of the to have the opportunity to see all the gaps litten or just the gaps here on the edges, on the outer edges here. Okay, so uh, this is cool, but we don't need it. So we can delete this selection tag here. It does not disturb, so, so we can. Uh, leave it like it is here. So this, if you don't want it, you can delete the grow selection, invert selection, store selection, but it does not disturb. So let's, let's. So what I want to do now is here in the platonic. Let's hide this guy. Go to the platonic. And with NQ I can hide the uh, texture. So, so better for the eyes. 
and here I can simply make another geometry modifier so I could copy this when I bring it up but go to here and make another one this one here with the material here yeah. okay so we don't need this anymore here good here I want just a little inset don't forget to double click on the icon not on the name to come to, to, to get the node editor so here again we make an inset C and inset Whoops. Whoops. And I don't want it too big, of course. So one centim one so one percent. And now I want to delete the polygons here, the big polygons, so that I just have these edges written. So insert and need a delete node. See, delete. Oopsie. To here deletes everything because it does not know what to delete. Oopsie. In the delete node, we can when you, when you put the default out, it does nothing. Okay, uh, so I make a selection here. So I have to make here a select so that I select everything and I want to insert. Because then I have the selection, everything, and the inset uh, shrinks the selection to just the inner polygons. Then, so C, select, so, uh, yeah, this is it. Inset now and delete. Let's see if this works now. Or, or default, but that's a default here. Yep, now we have it. You see, now we have just the edges here written. So we bring back the material, and if we go now back to our platonic here, we will see that we have here on the edges. Of course, a uh, bit light, but not see just until here, not here. It's a little far, so if, we, if this is too far for me, so we can go to the inset here and make it fast. One point one. See, now we have it like this. And this is maybe how you like it. So now we have to, and if you want to light everything, simply disable this group modifier and you light everything. See? This is wonderful. I want to show you what I mean with this select and inset, that you know what's, what's happened here, why right? this works. Uh, it's quite easy. So select, I make here a store selection, so just to show you what I mean, store, oops, store selection, so I give it a name, so bring this delete for the moment, I don't want the delete for the moment. I only want the inset. So, uh, let's put the like so. And here we have this selection one. Oh, we have the. We should have here polygons. Inset. We should have a. Select, store, select. Uh, let's go to here. But you know, you see, okay, anyway, we, we have now selected everything. So select all, this is all. 
and now when I bring in the inset, let's see. Go to here. Turn. Insets, store selection. Uh, Ah, this is, will, will be too, sh too, too short to choose when not, you see it, not okay. That's the reason. So, you see, that's the reason I haven't seen it. So, so uh, as soon as we have the inset here, first, when we uh, drag this directly to here, we have everything and the inset, when we have the inset between, the, just the inset will be selected and this selection we use then, so we don't need the store selection. But I hope that this makes sense now, as you see. So and this is the, the store selection, and this is then what will be deleted. So this selected but will be the really deleted. So go to here, to here, and this will be deleted. Okay. So only that you know why uh, this works. So. so uh, so we had here point one. So, okay, save it, and yeah, then that was this one. Yeah, I, but I, as I said, I, I prefer to see everything. So the next step is save it. We have on this original one, we have these plates here on the sides. And these plates we can make quite easy as well. So uh, we have still one platonic here. Let's work with this one. So bring this here, and here we use the same. I take the same modifier with the inset. Here, I copy it on this one. So make the inset here. Five percent or something, or ten percent. Yeah, ten percent should be fine. But now I want to delete the other side. So inset. We know this is selected now. So when I go here to invert selection, we should get the inner guys here. So C. Invert selection, we have it here. Whoops, you see, we have only these guys here, which is nice because now when we bring back our guy here, we simply make this platonic, this uh, outer or something else, doesn't matter, and simply make it bigger. So let's make it 205%. And we get these plates around it. And we can simply now go to the modifier, insert, we want the plates a little smaller. Let's say, so we've got the 20% here, they're smaller. But what we want, we want some thickness on this. Nothing easier than that. Go to here. And after the delete, we make a solidify. So the solid gives thickness. You can do it with an extrude as well or something, but I think the easiest way here is this. see solid. We have a solidify here. You see? And somehow it does not see it, but doesn't matter. We simply drag it to here and drag it into here. And we have thickness on this one. Let's go in the other direction, maybe. Or simply make the platonic bigger. 10 is too much. Two, three. And simply make the platonic here. No, this is the outer one. On the 10. And we have thickness on this. And now we can even, uh, after the solidify, we can jump at this whole thing. So make a barrel on it. See, chamfer. 
Badang. This looks weird, but not long. In the chamfer, we have first we have to set the points. We want edges, of course, and it's far too big. So and two or something else. You see, we get now a nice chamfer on it. Should be fine. And we have our surrounding plates here. And we are totally, we can make it a little thicker if we want. So let's say you want it to five. And I want it here to note this one 115. So if I want it smaller, I make the inset a little bigger, or smaller. However, I want, I'm totally. Happy with this. Save this. Okay. And now we will try to render this guy. So first of all, what we need is uh, this. So I just made this zero here, the selection, so that, that I don't see this texture because when when I put in something here which does not exist. One would exist because we have to send this to us like, but zero does not exist anywhere so I don't see any uh, any texture. So I'm gonna delete this again. So now I should see my color again. Yeah when I bring it back with NQ of course. Uh, let's see why I don't see oh yeah, this is this is the reason maybe. So, okay, thank you, sir. Everything is back, and we have to make this animated. So, go back. I have a few hundred frames per second. This should be fine for now. For our test. Up, yeah, go for offset. And go to the last frame. Go to minus 100. I have seen I have to go in the minus direction to have a nice pulse. So, and when I hit play. Okay, good, of course, so maybe this are a little too high, so we're not going to, to this. now with the notes, of course we have now a totally freedom here, so I got it extruded, point one maybe, so and we can make a jump for here as well. But this needs a little longer to calculate, but should of course should work. Uh, save this. But if you work with the with uh, Octane, you have the rounded edge shader, and so you can use this one if you have so many edges. And, and if it does not animate or not, not move in this case, so you can do it with the rounded edge shader but if you have something like this it's no problem but here it could take a while let's try it if it crash doesn't matter so crow selection word selection store selection that means i want the chamfer on everything so extrude after the extrude i want the chamfer crow selection in word selection so this is this one, this is okay. Ah, uh, we don't need this selection, so I said, yeah, because we'll do it with this, with this, but only. So, okay, in this case, I delete this. Because we use this platonic for the light, so. And after the extrude now, I can say, uh, first, we select all, or let's put in a jump for you. See? But as I said, this could take a little while. I drag it not in between, I first drag it in and make my thing. So I want edges. Point oh five or something else. One subdivision for the moment. So I can be sure it's not too hard. This should work so far.
Yeah, oh, it works much quicker than I thought it will. Yeah, okay, this, this is surprisingly fast. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see we have some shading problems here. So this is from the jumper. So let's go to the jumper and down here. Shading break, shading break rounding. If we... Yep, yeah, that's much better. Save it. Yeah, great. Now we can try to find a nice angle here, so a nice spot. For this I make a camera. A camera I want something, but play camera or something else, yeah. And I want to get it nicely done. So we have in the camera, we have here a composition tag, and here we have a grid. And this can help us to uh, center this here. Let's give it one more. You see, now we have here a center grid, and I try to simply make this centered here. So it has not to be exactly whatever, but uh, that looks not bad at all. So take the camera, make a protection tag on it. Save, can disable the camera. Okay, now let's make some materials. So we don't need this, this was just for Okay, uh, so this is now a normal material here, a standard material, but uh, we can simply go to our. Okay. In here, Octane Dialog. Ah, here somewhere. In materials, I have the material selected, convert materials. So, not only that it converts it, it uh, sets it here as well, so I can delete the original one. Here I go in the node editor. And let's see if everything is quite okay here. It's perfect. Texture emission is, a, is perfect. Gradient is perfect. The texture emission is one. We have to see later on if it, how we do it, but I think we will surface. Save it. Okay. We should already see something. So first of all, I go to the render settings. Make here O for Octane, Octane renderer here, don't have to do anything, so I make it this 720. Later on we want to render old frames. And uh, yeah, maybe it is not anything, but, but that's just see later. Okay, then here in the settings I have a pass tracing, but only 200 samples, you see very, very low settings, but it should do it normally. That's okay. Of course, Patreon can download the project file later on. So. Uh, let's see what we get. We make another material just for the cube, the inner cube, and then we make another material for the outer blades here. So uh, let's make a new material. Uh, I can see. So. Oops. This Octane uh, material um, for the needed simple. Well, let's make energy uh, reserving and make um, universal material. Why not make it quite dark? So something like that. A uh, little roughness. It. Oh, we can do the roughness here as well. So. Okay, and uh, maybe it, let's just see if it, how it looks when we do it metallic, and bring this on our 
platonic here. So we don't need this subdivider. This was just for if you have, uh, if you have the, I don't know, maybe I should show you this later on as well. Yeah, this is, this is, if you don't want to play with notes or something else, this sh sh wouldn't be a bad idea to show you how you can make this with the inset and the, and the extrusion so that you uh, can change everything so that you stay parametric. Uh, I want to show you this. Yeah, why not? Save this and make a new file. It's just, it's just a quick thing. So I make a platonic here. Come on, platonic. So, and now bring the platonic inside this mesh tools. Mesh subdivider. So, I make this a little bit. We did this before, so it shouldn't be a problem to follow at all. So, give it here a six maybe, and give it down. So, okay, this is for the, for the uh, just to show you how to do this. In this case, if we want to insert and extrude, we bring the subdivider here with Alt G in a null, and uh, first of all, under the null, I bring in now a Mo extrude. So I selected the null, shift on the keyboard, and Mo extrude. Here I just want an inset, that means I want to go here to zero in the height and you already see, let's go to make it very uh, obvious, so 0.9, oopsie, and let's go, so select everything of there, so I have 0.9, so you see we have just an inset everywhere. And now we can, we need a selection of course here as well, because I cannot use this again, because it makes just another inset, this is not what we want. So here in the subdivider you have something we need, selections, and you can here the subdivide. Now I have a selection deck here. When I put this selection deck in my polygon selection here, now you see this works, and I go with this one, just, let's see, 0.5, go up here. And here I go to 1, and I have this extrusion everywhere. And so you can do it, and of course now you can use a barrel here to, so, okay. add a barrel here. So it like this, so shift C, bevel, and uh, point one, two subdivisions should be fine, and drag it under here, and you see we have the bevel, and everything is fine. Here the same is the shading problem, and but you know it's not a problem, topology, and it's done. So you can do this without notes and you're still parametric. You can now say, okay, if the gaps are too big. The only thing here is you cannot uh, ch uh, choose between a per percent or so proportional or a unit centimeter, millimeter, something like that. So I'm going to say here, it's okay, I want 0.98. something like that, so maybe a little smaller, 0.5, and everything should work fine. Okay, so I think this was worth to show. Uh, now, let's go back to our original file, save it again, <coughs> and Let's see what we get now here. So I go to my web, 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 
Uh, let's see, maybe I can go to my Dicomedia thing here, because here I have everything, and we don't have to see it here, so when, when I open it. So, that looks nice, safe. So far, so good, we see the nice... Uh, okay. This is okay for now, but I want to bring in, of course, my scenery to, to have some reflections in the whole thing and everything. This is, uh, did I say thing? Thing, 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 thing. So let's bring in the Octane Rig. Just to. Don't need the shadow catcher, don't need the background, we don't see it. It's just to bring in a, a nice uh, HDRI. So, uh, I'm going to my asset browser, Shift F8, is what does the Shift F8? Yeah. The asset browser, so I go to my all and HDRIs, indoor, what could I use here? So let's see, doesn't really matter, but ah, let's take that with a take almost every time. So, Bop. Save it. Okay, that looks immediately much better. As I said, patrons can uh, can download the file, of course. Uh, okay, we have a nice. So now I want to make some material for the plates, and here it's I simply work with an. Uh, Technic uh, displacement thing, so uh, but it's, it's somehow it's a little too thick for me. So let's make it. This is the outer one. So here, this is the cool thing. You know, we can go to our you know, it's an easy solidifier here, and I make the solidifier three again. It's okay. I love this <laughs> when you can work like this. And uh, let's see where I do have uh, some. Uh, so I can show you this. So let's make a new material first. So, so, uh, yeah, you know, I have here. So, whoops. So I have here. This is a new material, a new octane material. Yes, uh, this will be a simple material, something like that. And I have a look where I could find uh, something I need. So let's go. That is. I'm sure I have somewhere. Good material, yeah, but I don't. I have to find it somewhere here. Let's see. So I go to my volume is textures, so a pump and displacement, and here I have somewhere some tech pack. Yeah. You will see, so I go to it. These are something like this. Yes, sir. These are the, the, the thing. And I have a look for this. You will find something like this. Oh, this looks not bad. Uh, in, if you look for tech displacement or something. Like but there is a very good program which, uh, uh, which creates something like this. I will put a link in the description. I did, GS displays, so it's called, that makes exactly uh, this. They are all made with this. So, so this is a free program, and you can make very very nice displacement maps. So I drag this displacement inside here. So then I go to I need a displacement here. Make the displacement for now 2k is okay. Uh, point 0.1 is just 0.5 here. 
oopsie, point five, okay, save and put it actually inside, and let's see what we get now, so we want, here for now, let's make, I don't know, so something like that maybe, and should look metallic, sci-fi, okay, but anyway with a little roughness good and see we put this on our plates outside here so. uh, the texture should be here yep and the outer plates are here Boink. and I set this to cubic so now let's be surprised what we get That looks not bad, but a little boring. So now we have to, we can do something, transform, we can transform node and make this smaller. So till we get a nice, yeah, nice looking thing here, that looks great. Maybe go a little up here. We have to For uh, example, the, the displacement I love to obtain. Simply can say only that I love it. Yep. And now we can be a little crazy. We can use this image texture for something. For almost everything, we can use it for the roughness. So we get uh, where it's white it's it's rough where it's black it's not rough but this is not so that thing I like. in the albedo we could play so when i put this in the albedo we get something like this and here we can use a colorizer to play with the colors colorizer and let's see let's load a nice frame maybe look at this <laughs> that looks so great it looks wow now this is everything too dark here so let's see what we can do with this guy Uh, simply go here, that would be nice. Make it here a little. Why do I have to correct one here? I'm a little surprised at this. Save. Uh, don't be uh, surprised if I'm uh, away, but because in last lately I often get a crash with Octane, so the, 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 the machine just restarts. But I'm sure that it's not uh, Octane, uh, it's maybe it's Win 11 or the drivers, I don't know for sure. Because I get it in other uh, programs too, where they use the graphic cards a lot. So, uh, why is this a black something is here that I don't like? Normally I should really go to right here. It should change something. Do I have here? It's okay. <laughs> After something is here. But I do not really like. Uh, let's try this RGB spectrum. Not, yeah, it has to be the same, of course. It does something, but not what I want. So let's go to here. It seems that this do not really react here. Is it?
Here we can go up for sure, so all right. Safe. But why is uh, maybe the blades are a little too big just so that we don't get any light in, but it shouldn't be the case. We will find the problem, of course. So let's go to the outer guys here. Outer platonic, play with the insert here. Because we are so cool. Okay. That's the reason they, they were too big. They took away our yeah, of course, uh, they reflect in here. Yeah, it's logical. So how can we? But I want to. This this is fine like this, but safe. We can go in this material now. And God, this big here, but it was the so sorry I had a short uh, break, but uh, yeah, you see now if we go with the metallic, huh, this is that looks better now. I want this whole thing a little darker, I think, yes, sir. Uh, with the intensity down to... Like that, yep. And I think I like this. And of course now, the Octan thing, what comes in is... Camera... Camera tech. What we all love, I'm sure. Bloom. Woof. And cut it off a little bit. Nice. Let's make it a little brighter here. I really like this one. Yeah, -ha. we are kings here. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, maybe it is okay, but less bloom. Bloomy, bloomy, bloom. Stripe, this is the shadow from this place. Let's make the plates a little smaller again. Save and outer inset. find a different HDRI which shines inside a little bit but let's rotate this a little
And the next thing what you can do, of course, now if you don't want to see the whole thing, we have this now. This is our product that we go. So we don't have to, we just have to, if we activate this, you see, we have just the outer edges. But then we have to make everything a little brighter, of course, yes. Uh, looks not bad, too. But I prefer that we see the, we see everything here. Now we have a lot of uh, thing here because we, we we play with a very very low sample rate. But see if we can do something. Yeah. Tarik. Yeah, let's make something very metallic. So to do something not. This is the up that, that, that does not look bad. Let's go back to the Just play around, it's easy. Less gamma means less uh, fireplace here. Again, with the camera. It's okay for me, it's like this. Maybe we could put a little coating on here. We see the coating definitely, but Issue with this. With this, uh, with this texture here. Yeah, this is more what I like. Yeah, I want this gaps a little smaller. Should we just insert? O2. Yeah, that looks better, I think. And it looks more like in the original one, I think. So. So, no, I 
want the metallic, why not? The speculator has nothing to say, yeah? Yeah, the speculator. I want a little. This is too big. This is. Mm. I am not. You know what? I try to make this with a simple, glossy texture. Specular, it's a little roughness. It looks almost a little boring here. To maybe let's make the extrude a little higher here. Alright, so we don't see, but then I have to make the caps a little bigger again. Because this this is great if you want to change a little bit and make a little variation. Yeah, that looks nice. With this I can live. <laughs> but it's still not just the thing I want. I play around until I'm happy, I tell you. Oh, what's the... No, I don't want metallic, I want a universal here. Well, let's try it with a simple metallic. Getting better. Maybe they are really again too too big. You see, because they take away the whole thing. That that's the problem. That's the problem. Let's think. Yeah, I let leave it like this because I don't want to. Or I can make it bigger and far away, so that that that, that could be another one. Let's try it. Let's play. Now, if you are bored, sorry, but but you know now already how it works. So what we did, so more than less, it, the, the the lesson is finished. More than less, I just try to make me happy now. So I make this now bigger, but further away, further away is no problem in this case because I simply go to the platonic and make it make it bigger. Now you see, right? make them solidify to one, so. two. I 
already like this more. to the end. Sorry that I had another break between the clients, right? So, so I try to do answer as quick as possible. It's still a little too dark everything here. But yeah, I would uh, I would make this of course in uh, uh, in post work to make everything a little brighter. But I think no. Like, I think we can be happy with this, so, so far it's okay. I only want to try some different HDRIs. So. What do we have here? This is one I like as well. I don't know, but maybe it's still. Yeah, they, I, they are not bad, but not entirely what I want. That's always my thing. Ah, now we're getting brighter. That's always my thing. It's, everything is done. Ah, I'm here. But, uh, everything is done, but until I'm really happy with something, that that needs some time. And this is sometimes a little uh, uh, makes me a little sad when I see that some people make a nice. Uh, picture or animation but you you see definitely when they start to to uh, do have no uh, they don't want to work more on it so so that, that, oh, it's enough just send it and this is something i don't want to do here in this solidify i did extrude i don't really this was okay before but now i don't want the variation And yeah, now, 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 that, that's it now. That's it now. Now I have a nice thing here with, yeah, that's it. Good. Great. So let's go to the material here again and try if we should up this a little bit. Definitely we should. Okay, we see this this thing here, but well, maybe it's the sampling rate. I do not really see here some but this we can definitely uh, do with more samples. I don't want to make the whole uh, animation here because, uh, or maybe I render it later, but not now. What's now in a good
Okay. Yep. See what I mean? Don't. Uh, here we can definitely work with uh, the denoiser, I think. So let's go to the camera here. Camera image, uh, blab. Let's make sure I denoiser enable it. See if we can get rid of this ugly things here. Uh, not really, so I go simply higher with the samples. Oh, that's good. It's, you should not overdo this here. I know it's hard because it's nice when it's close. So save it. And let's render this with, let's say, 500 samples. So, but don't forget that it just moves later on. So, so, yeah, that should be fine. I think I will render some frames to see if it works. Yeah, so uh, save this whole thing. And I'm back, I render some frames and then I'm back, we will, we will see what we get. See you in a second. Okay, I rendered now some frames, you see. And uh, it definitely works, look. And it looks great. But uh, you see, we need definitely more samples here. And uh, what I forgot, when I render something like this, I always... Uh, use so I stop this for the moment. Uh, yep, and it's because when I render, I cannot go into render settings here. I forgot to activate static noise, so that makes it better here. So you don't see this flimmering here that we have now. So, this you see, this you won't see this or not so uh, prominent. But you see, that looks really, really nice, and this is just 22 frames, so, so whoops, whoops. And it, it will loop, of course, when we render the whole 100 frames, it will loop. I will render out uh, it, it, uh, the, the ready project file. This is a coincidence that I'm exactly in this edge here, but I think that looks <laughs> nice here. <laughs> okay. So uh, I hope you liked this one and I hope you learned something new maybe and yeah you see it makes fun with to play with the notes uh, and I hope they uh, do more with the notes so, so, so um, unfortunately you never hear some news or you don't have a road map or something as well so I don't know what why they do it like this but uh, Hopefully they surprise us with something nice, or they don't. <laughs> I think you have... Eh, I don't want to say too much. But why ever? I don't get anything from them, so... <laughs> I just pay. Good, okay. Uh, maybe I find time to make another tutorial tomorrow for patrons only. Uh, but this one I wanted to show for everybody because of the notes in R25 and it's uh, it, it, uh, you don't see a lot of uh, notes uh, things uh, at the moment so I thought it will be nice to, to uh, see a little note playing okay so uh, I wish you all a wonderful evening you see it's here it's quarter to 6 p.m. and a wonderful yeah, weekend, rest of the weekend, wonderful Sunday, Saturday evening, and uh, stay healthy, stay safe, and have a wonderful time. If you have questions, uh, complaints, requests, let me know. Meanwhile, you know all the ways to reach me here in the comments or my Facebook site or our Facebook group or, or on Patreon or, or and so on and so on. 
Uh, yeah, patrons can download the project file uh, on Patreon. You will find the link in the description, of course. And yo, uh, nothing more to say, I think. Yeah, about the scene rigs. Uh, I have. I really want to to, to to make the updates, but I have so so less time. And uh, the problem is, and now I want to wait. Normally, uh, Maxon brings uh, all six months about a new version. Uh, and and uh, when I make now the update for the scene rigs, and in let's say S twenty six or something, I don't know nothing about an update or, or, or a new version. So so it's just uh, maybe. Uh, but uh, may, maybe they change anything and then can start from from the beginning and so on. So I just want to wait a little bit until the next version is out. And let's see what we get then. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I wish you all the best here from Austria, Vienna and say tschüss und baba.